Hey campers, first up on our activities today, we're going to be doing a ping pong ball trick shot. This is a pretty simple one that I have set up. Important thing to remember, so you want a nice hard surface because anything soft, the ball won't bounce properly. So first up, I'm going to try to bounce the ball into the cup off of the board that I have here. Let me find a good distance, drop my ball, see where it comes. Pretty close, so I'm going to try again, a little bit further over this time. Oh, right off the rim. Now, for the next one, I'm going to try to get it to bounce off this surface, then off the wall, then into the cup as we get trickier here. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit higher and move it a little bit closer. Move my cup away from the wall. And then I'll try the same thing, dropping the ball, find a good height, get it to bounce once off the wall and then into the cup. You can do it with a cup. You can do it with a waste paper basket, whatever you have available to you. Have fun. Go on YouTube, look at crazy ping pong ball trick shots, and you'll find all sorts of inspiration. All right, campers, get your basketball hoops out and set up. Next up, we're going to do around the world. We've got markings on the floor, three on the right side, three on the left side, one up here in the middle. And then up here is my makeshift basketball hoop. For around the world, I'm going to start at the first X. Take my shot, hopefully make it. If I make it, I move on to the next one. And I'll take that. And I'll work my way around in a circle, stopping at each one. If I take a shot and I miss it, I have the opportunity to take a chance. That's a second shot. If I make it, my turn continues and I keep going. If I miss it, I have to start all over again from the very beginning on my next turn. You can play against your family and friends, see if you can get around the world in the fewest number of turns. All right, campers, we're going to play ski ball now. You can see I've drawn a ski ball target on the ground with my sidewalk chalk. And I picked a distance a ways away from the ski ball. This crate right here is going to be the line that I'm going to throw it behind. Today I'm going to use the football that came in your fun box. Do a nice toss. I'm going to watch where it lands. That one landed in the 10 point ring and it rolled into the 10 point ring, but when it first touched, it was in the 10 point ring. So I get 10 points. I'd go over and get that ball, come back, and I'd take six shots and add them all up. You can also use other objects that you might have around your house, like a badminton birdie or a cooch ball. Same thing. Throw it, watch where it lands. That one didn't land in the target, so that's no points, even though it bounced into the target. Cush ball, throw it up nice and high, watch where it lands. Because it's on the line, that one counts for 25 points. Because it's half in the 10, half in the 25, you count the higher score. Add up your score and see if you can get a really high score. Play it against your family and friends, see if you can beat them. All right, campers, get out of your Frisbee. It's time to play some Frisbee golf. Right here, I have a yellow line on the ground. This is my tee box. You could also just use any line you find, like this seam that's right here in the concrete or your orange cone. You just want a marker that you have to throw from behind. I'm going to throw it at the hole. My hole is that black lamppost that's by the gray chair over there. Step up to the tee box, throw it towards the hole. Not too bad. That's one stroke. When I get to my Frisbee, I'm not going to move from where it landed, and I'm going to take my second stroke. I hit the pole, so the ball, uh, the, the disc is in the hole, and I've completed that one. I've made a little course here, so we're going to move on to the second hole. I have another line on the ground. This is my second tee box. This time, my target is the bench on the other side of the pool. I want to get the frisbee to land on the bench and that will count as in the hole. Go ahead and take my throw. Almost. If I throw the frisbee and it goes somewhere where I can't get to it, it's a one stroke penalty. Move it back where you can throw it. When you throw your next shot, count one extra stroke at the very end. 